What's up YouTube fans? Today we're going to take a look at the Playmates Classic Legendary Voltron. So recently I looked at the black line here. It was the 40th anniversary version. Turns out that the 40th anniversary version is the same as the original release which we have here in front of us. And shout out to Alan L who sent this to me for review. I couldn't find these four in retail and they're not available. The pre-order doesn't come out till later this year. So we figured might as well look at this now since it is the same as the 40th anniversary edition. Now since we've already looked at this guy, we'll spend some time just taking a look at these four. Uh, these two are very similar, so we'll just look at them together and then same for these two. And then we'll look at the combined mode. So let's get started. All right, so starting off, we have the red and green lines. Got some white paint, black paint for the nose, yellow for the eyes. The yellow is a little off. They're not perfect. Blue paint up here on the side. Just got the gray plastic for the legs and then red plastic for the body. Gray for the tail. It's just a rubbery plastic. Here's what it looks like. As far as articulation, the head can rotate on a ratchet. The mouth can't open on a spring-loaded joint. Probably so you can grip the weapons. Legs rotate back and forth at the hip on a ratchet joint, at the knee on a ratchet, and at the toe on a soft ratchet. Same for the rear legs, hips are on a ratchet joint, knee, and toe. The tail can't really do much. You can pull it all the way out and it's kind of static, or you can push it in and rotate it and have it flipped up the other way, but that's about it. There's not a lot of articulation. I guess if you push it in, you could rotate it, but it doesn't really have much for articulation. Green line, basically exactly the same as far as articulation. They both come with armor, so we get these three pieces here. We can plug these in to the body, and it does have a spring-loaded mechanism. I'll show you that in a second. This can go on here, and then this piece can open up the mouth. There is a slot on the top of the mouth. You can see that and that will fit in there. Assume we want the blade facing forward. And there you go, it actually looks pretty good. It's got paint, red and yellow paint on there. Uh, you can't fire this missile. It's pretty strong, so just uh, watch out for that. Uh, but I do think it looks good with weapons. And let's get the Green Lion's weapons on there as well. Same thing, he comes with multiple pieces. So we'll plug this on here. Plug that on there, and then we'll open up his mouth. And there you go. Looks pretty good. All right, next we'll take a look at the blue and yellow lines, the legs. And blue has always been my favorite, but he's got same thing, yellow for the eyes. This one is even more off-center. It's not quite there. Uh, but you got black paint up here, the green for the jewel in the middle, silver for the ears. White, black for the nose, yellow paint here. Again, could have stand and use another coat. Red paint there, red right here. That looks good. Got red and black here. Um, the rest of the body is blue, and then gray plastic there. This tail does actually move. So let's go over the articulation. The head can rotate up to there on friction, down to there. The neck itself can go down and up to there, just as part of the transformation, so. And you get side to side of that. You can't open up the mouth. Again, spring-loaded, so it does spring shut. There is a little, you know, missile in there. Front legs, and basically they're all the same. You have ratcheted at the hips, ratcheted at the knee, ratcheted at the toe, it's a soft ratchet at the toe. That works well. Back leg, same thing, ratchet at the hip, knee, and toe. And then the tail uh, has a soft click point right here, so it kind of locks in place. Uh, but you can move it back and forth. It doesn't really have posability, per se, but you can at least lift it up and down. And yellow line, same kind of stuff. Uh, you do get the movement here on this piece. I wish it wasn't swirly gray plastic. It would have been much better if they painted that silver, but it does move. Speaking of that, uh, let's see if this one moves. 
I was expecting this to open. I guess it doesn't. So you don't get that uh, piece on the blue line. As far as the weapons, same kind of thing. We get the three weapons. So we can plug this into here. Whoops, and I fired it at myself. They're pretty hair trigger, so you just gotta be careful. Um, I guess you could put it on either side, so let's see. This looks better here. No, I think it looks better on the other side. That, and then we can plug this one into here. That looks pretty cool. Oh, there's nothing in the middle of that, so I think that's just how it is. And then we can get his little sword, and again, open up the Spring loaded mouth, get the tab in. All right, and there he is with all his weapons. Same thing, you can fire the missile. There's a button. Uh, where's the button? Right here. So, pretty cool. Yellow line, same thing. We can plug in the missiles and the little shield piece, and then we can open up the mouth. And he does the same thing, has the missile inside. We can get this mounted into the mouth. And there you go. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, they can sit down if you want them to. You can't do that. All right, and there they all are together with their weapons. It is kind of sad the Black Lion didn't get anything. Nothing came in the package with it. Uh, we do get the weapons for Voltron with the green and red lions, but it didn't come with anything for a black lion, but there you go for the lion set. All right, now let's get these guys transformed into Voltron. Since we already went over the black lion in the previous review and how to transform it, I'm just going to focus on the legs and arms here. So let's start with the legs. We're going to take the blue lion, fold up the legs, fold the tail in. Well, this, this has a little peg right here, you can see. And that's going to kind of butt up into up to there. See on this one, and that back. And then we can bring the neck up and make a flat surface for the leg. Down here you'll see there's a trap door. So we can get that plugged into here. As we do that, you'll see there is a button right here. And as we plug it in, that button will get pressed. So it should know that we've plugged in the, the blue lion. Blue lion, coming in. That's pretty cool. I, I don't know a lot of Voltrons that do that. So I think that's pretty neat that they, they worked that in there. Uh, okay, so let's do yellow lion. You can fold that up. You can fold that flat. Fold the legs in. Fold these in. Fold the neck up so you see it's flat. And we'll plug this in and we'll hear the sound as well. Bitch, is that you? Where are you? Accidentally hit the button. Yellow lion, leaping into action. That's pretty cool. I really do think that's neat. Alright, same thing. We're gonna get the legs folded up. And we're gonna get the tail fold or pushed in so this will slide all the way in might have to flip it upside down but all right well something is stopping this from going all the way in and I'm not gonna break it since it's not mine I'm not gonna push it but come to the bottom here we're going to fold out this joint and this is gonna plug in right here so go ahead and plug this come in. On, So it knows that it's the green line. Uh, by the way, I'm going to go over articulation in a minute, but you can't rotate at this peg that I just pushed in. You rotate here at this shoulder joint. All right, last but not least, let's do red line. Hold up these. Hold up these. And push the tail in. Let's see if this one goes in any better. Nope. Same thing, doesn't doesn't go in all the way, it just kind of sits there. Open up the peg on the bottom, and we'll plug him in to hear his sound. Ready to form Voltron! Activate interlock! Dynatherms 
connected. Infracells up. Mega thrusters are go. Form feet and legs. Form arms and body. And I'll form the head. Oh. Go Voltron. All right, there is Voltron fully combined. Let's go over his articulation. The head can lift up and down and rotate side to side on a ratcheted joint. So it does go all the way around. Uh, it's hard to get it down because the, the chin hits, but if you put it here, you can kind of get it down a little bit more. The shoulders don't rotate here, they rotate at this joint. So if you want to rotate the arm, you end up rotating that red piece out of the way. I'm not a huge fan of that, uh, just because it looks a little, a little weird. You have a shoulder joint here. You can rotate out on the shoulder joint, so you can get it up to there. You have a rotation at the bicep. Yes, you have a rotation here at the elbow. So you can rotate this, uh, but you can't rotate this way. That's that's one I would want, is to be able to rotate this direction. The hand can rotate, and then you can open up the paw for the weapon, which we'll take a look at in a minute. For the waist, you have no waist rotation, no ab crunch, nothing there. For the legs, you can kick up to there on a ratchet. The knee joint's a little bit weak, I'll be honest. Um, and there's actually two. There's a joint here. I guess I don't have this in all the way. No, that's it. So, there's a joint here which is really for Black Lion. So you don't want to use that, you want to use this, but you can use that to get a double jointed knee. Um, this one's stronger than this one, so it's a little weird. I wish they had put a little more strength in that joint. You have forward and backward tilt on the foot, and you can tilt side to side just due to the movement of the blue and yellow lion heads. It is a little bit unstable. Uh, depending on how you have it balanced, it can be unstable. I found that uh, you have to have the feet pushed forward, and this particular joint right here, there's a little bit of play there. So that makes it sort of lean in a direction. For the accessories, we get this very plain swirly gray sword. It's styled nicely, but it just, ah, oh, the swirly gray plastic is really not good. We can put that into his hand. You can put it in either hand, doesn't matter. Same kind of thing, you open up the spring-loaded mouth and then you can get it in there. And then same thing, we also get a nice swirly gray spinning blade, but at least this time it's got the black and gold on there. And this will fit into the other hand. Same thing, just get the tab pegged into the top of the mouth. And there you go. There it is with the weapons. Not the greatest, but at least it has the completed look for Voltron. And for a quick size comparison, there it is next to the Blitzway Voltron and the Bandai Super Mini Pla Model Kit Voltron. And you can see it's pretty big. It's the biggest Voltron I've ever handled. Uh, now it doesn't have the articulation of these two guys. It doesn't have the premium materials and feel of this guy. But it is isn't big and imposing. So if you're looking for something like that in your collection, this might fit in nicely. Alright, before we get out of here, I did want to mention since I covered it in the Black Line review, there is sounds, I'm not, I didn't cycle through all of them, but there's 60 different phrases. And when you press that button, it does light up the chest. Yes, talk to me. Are so you heard? It's now, like orange. I can handle it. It's pretty light, but at least it does it. That's kind of neat. Uh, but let's go into final recommendations on the Playmates Classic Legendary Voltron. I'm going to give it a 4 to 5. I'm going to recommend it. It's a soft recommend, but I am going to recommend it. For the value, for the money, you're definitely getting a pretty cool Voltron. Pretty big. It's 16 inches, and it does have all the basics, right? You got the lions all work, and they all articulate. It's got all the weapons, with the exception of the Black Lions weapons. It's got the weapons for Voltron mode. It's got voice activated and sounds from the actual show, which is kind of neat. I haven't really seen that on a Voltron. And then the light-up chest. All that's great, um, but where it's lacking is it's just really not an adult collectible. It doesn't have the materials. It doesn't have the paint overall. There's a lot of gray swirly plastic, which is one of my 
pet peeves. Uh, it doesn't have the articulation in certain joints, like for example, it doesn't have a rotation at the elbow, no waist swivel, no ab crunch. Uh, some of the joints, like the knees, are a little bit on the weak side. So little things like that keep it from being a adult collectible. Uh, but if it's just one that you want to display, a Voltron that you just want a big imposing Voltron to look good, I think this does the job. You know, it really does. So that's really it for today. Thanks to Alan L for sending this for review. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.